Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'll be reading Joshua 10 of the King James Version Bible and it reads, Now it came to pass when Adonai Zedek, king of Jerusalem, had heard O Joshua had taken Ai and had utterly destroyed it, as he had done to Jericho and her king, so he had done to Hai and her king, and all the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace with Israel and were among them, that they feared greatly, because Gibeon was a great city, as one of the royal cities, and because it was greater than I, and all the men thereof were mighty. Before Adonai Zedek, king of Jerusalem, sent unto Hoham, king of Hebron, and unto Piran, Piram, king of Jarmuth, and unto Japhia, king of Lachish, Lachish, and unto Debir, king of Eglon, saying, Come up unto me, and help me, that we may smite Gibeon, for it hath made peace with Joshua and with the children of Israel. Therefore the five kings of the Amorites, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Ebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lashi, Lachish, the king of Eglon, gathered themselves together, and went up, they and all their host, and encamped before Gibeon, and made war against it. And the men of Gibeon sent unto Joshua to the camp of Gilgal, saying, Slack not thy hand from thy servants. Come up to us quickly, and save us, and help us. For all the kings of the Amorites that dwell in the mountains are gathered together against us. So Joshua ascended from Gilgal, he and all the people of war with him, and all the mighty men of Pharaoh. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear them not. For I have delivered them into thine hand. There shall not a man of them stand before thee. Joshua therefore came unto them suddenly, and went up from Gilgal all night. And the Lord discomfited them before Israel, and slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon, and chased them along the way that goeth up to Bethoron, and smite them to Azekah, and unto Makeda. And it came to pass, as they fled from before Israel, and were in the going down to Betharon, that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Azekah, and they died. They were more which died with hailstones than they whom the children of Israel slew with the sword. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered them, delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel, and he said, In the sight of Israel, son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. It is not this is not this written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, and hasted not to go down about the whole day. And there was no day like that before it or after it, that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him, unto the camp of Gilgal. But these five kings fled and hid themselves in the cave in the cave in a cave at Makeda. And it was told Joshua saying, The five kings are found in a cave at Makeda. And Joshua said, Roll great stones upon the mouth of the cave, and set the men by it for to keep them. And stay ye not, but pursue after your enemies, and smite the iron moose of them. Suffer them not to enter into their cities, for the Lord your God hath delivered them into your hand. And it came to pass, when Joshua and the children of Israel had made an end of slaying them with a very great slaughter, till they were consumed, that the rest which remained of them entered into fenced cities, and all the people returned to the camp to Joshua at Makeda in peace, none moved his tongue against any of the children of Israel. Then said Joshua, 
open the mouth of the cave and bring out those five kings unto me out of the cave. And they did so and brought forth those five kings unto him out of the cave. The king of Jerusalem, the king of Ebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lachish, and the king of Eglon. And it came to pass when they brought out these brought out those kings unto Joshua, that Joshua called for all the men of Israel, and said unto the captains of the men of war which went with him, Come near, put your feet unto the neck of these kings and they came near and put their feet upon the necks of them and joshua said unto them fear not nor be dismayed be strong and of good courage for thus shall the lord do to all your enemies against whom ye fight and afterward joshua smote them and slew them and hanged them on five trees and they were hanging upon the trees until the even and it came to pass at the time of the going down of the sun that Joshua commanded and they took them down off the trees and cast them into the caves wherein they had been hid and laid great stones in the caves mouth which remained on which remain until this very day and that day Joshua took Makeda and smote it with the edge of the sword and the king therefore he thereof he utterly destroyed them and all the souls that were therein he let none remain and he did to the king of makeda as he did unto the king of jericho then joshua passed from makeda and all and all israel with him unto libna and fought against libna and the lord delivered it also and the king thereof into the hand of israel and he smote it with the edge of the sword and all the souls that were therein, he let none remain in it. He did unto the king thereof, as he did unto the king of Jericho. And Joshua passed from Limna, and all Israel with him, unto Lachish, and encamped against it, and fought against it. And the Lord delivered Lachish into the hand of Israel which took it on the second day and smote it with the edge of the sword and all the souls that were therein according to all that he had done to Libna. Then Horam, king of Jezer, came up to help Lachish and Joshua smote him with his people until he had left him none remaining. And from Lachish Joshua passed unto Eglon and all Israel with him and they encamped against it and fought against it, and they took it in one in took it on that day and smote it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein he utterly destroyed that day, according to all that he had done to Lachish. And Joshua went up from Eglon and all Israel with him unto Ebron, and they fought against it, and they took it and smote it with the edge of the sword, and the king thereof and all the cities thereof, and all the souls that were therein. He left none remaining, according to all that he had done to Eglon, but destroyed it utterly, and all the souls that were therein. And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him, to Deber, and fought against it. And he took it, and the king thereof, and all the cities thereof, and they smote them with the edge of the sword, and utterly destroyed all the souls that were therein. He left none remaining as he had done to Ebron, so he did to Deber, and to the king thereof, as he had done also to Libna and to her king. So Joshua smote all the country of the hills and of the south, and of the vale and of the springs, and all the kings he left none remaining but utterly destroyed all that breathed as the Lord God of Israel commanded and Joshua smote them from Kadesh Barnea even unto Gaza and all the country of Goshen even unto Gibeon and all the kings and their land did Joshua take at one time because the Lord God of Israel fought for Israel and Joshua returned and all Israel with him unto the camp of Gil Gal. Alright guys, so in this chapter we see where five of the Amorite 
kings from different cities decided that they wanted to utterly destroy the children of Israel because even Gibeon as we saw in the last chapter surrendered to the children of Israel because they saw all that God had done and they came to appreciate what God had done and they were fearful of God and of the children of Israel for God's sake and so they had now become subjects to the children of Israel and as you can see here the kings they do not like that the king of Eglon the king of Deber all the other three kings they do not like that because Gibeon is a great city it's one of the royal cities like I said before in the earlier in the previous chapter chapter um, Gibeon was a mighty was a city of mighty men and so for them to surrender and be subject to Israel that would instill fear in many to come and what happened is that these five Amorite kings they wanted to seize that because they didn't want Israel to come up and be mightier than them because if if my, the mighty men of Gibeon can actually surrender to the children of Israel that does not bid well for them that does not look well for them and so they want to seize it they want to nip it in the bud okay it's a strategy so all of them came and they gathered together and they decided to take on Gibeon since they won't they don't want to take on the children of Israel directly because they are still fearful of the children of Israel but if they can slay Gibeon who had surrendered who are mighty men and surrendered to Israel then that would diminish the the level of fear for towards people felt towards the children of Israel and towards their God but because the people of Gibeon were now subject unto Israel then they were also under that protection from those Amorite kings and from those Amorite nations and that just goes to show that when you are under the protection when you are in coercion with somebody that is under the protection the protection of our mighty God then you by an extension are also covered it's like with an anointing I recall in the Bible study we spoke about the anointing that people get and sometimes that anointing that you have it trickles down to your family members not because they're good and not because they are so um, faithful to God but because of you because of the anointing that is on your life and because of the blessing that God has bestowed unto you it has trickled over to your family as a result and so they will be blessed for your sake and here we see where the children of where Gibeon is being blessed for the sake that they surrendered themselves to Israel and have become subject to the children of Israel and are now under the protection of the Almighty God because of their subjection to Israel because they are now a part of that body alright guys so if there's anything to learn from this chapter if there's anything you should take from this chapter is that once you're under the protection of the Lord he will indeed cover you and he will protect your family and he will cover your family also so when you have trials that you're facing do not be so focused on your family and say oh my family is gonna come under a spiritual attack and all those things just do the work that God has laid out for you and press on and he will cover all other aspects of your life for you just keep your eyes and your hearts stayed on him just as it says seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all his glory and all other things will be added unto you seek ye first the kingdom of god okay seek ye first the kingdom of god and all that has to do with god all that entails that godly devotion and he 
will definitely protect you you'll be your family will be protected under that umbrella of protection that no one nothing will be able to infiltrate or penetrate that umbrella of protection that is set up around you okay so i just want you to remember that keep your eyes and your hearts stayed on god and he will definitely protect every other aspect of your life so you won't have to worry you won't have to worry about a thing all you need to do is just trust in jesus all you need to do is just give it all to jesus all you need to do is keep your heart and your eyes stayed on him and he will that he will definitely definitely direct your path cover you and lead you all right guys all right so these are my few words to you please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification so you're alerted whenever a new audio video is posted and guys please don't forget to share your thoughts your comments and your revelations down below okay and <clears throat> please remember you don't need to agree with me and if there is something that you want to query you can most definitely do so and if there is something that if there's a question that you actually want to ask you are free to ask my instagram link is down below so you can hit me up through my instagram and okay all right guys so do have yourselves a blessed day in christ remember if you have your salvation keep it if you have not if you have not yet found it seek it have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.